Hello, this is Chris Jackson from ActionQA.com. In this video, I'll be covering how to do drag and drop testing with Nightwatch. Uh, unfortunately, there is a problem that Nightwatch itself doesn't natively support drag and drop testing with HTML5 drag and drop. Uh, I tried to see what the bug was. Something with Selenium and web drivers. I heard it might work in Firefox, but not in Chrome. But I've tried a few things and it just doesn't work in Chrome. I'll, I'll show you quickly what I've tried and didn't work. And then I'll show you the workaround for drag and drop. Uh, here is a little uh, example I have on my site. And I'll list this URL in the show notes. But simply just doing this drag and drop into a container. That's all we want to do. So I'm going to go to VS Code here and create a new test. Call it test dnd.js uh, and module.exports equals and call this uh, drag and drop. Okay, and we're going to navigate to that site I just showed you. Browser.url and that is this. There you go. And what you would normally do, what I did the very first thing was do something like this. And this is just pseudo code, so you don't need to write it out. Be like browser dot move to element. And that'll be like, oh, this is, that's like the, the image I was showing you on the other page. Then browser dot mouse button down, blah, blah, blah. Then browser dot move to element. And that'll be your drop zone. Wherever that's going to go. And then browser dot mouse button up. And if you, you've tried this, then you will definitely see pretty quickly that it doesn't work and it'll drive you insane because you'll try every little variation of this trying to make it work and nothing <laughs> will happen. So <laughs> uh, trust me, I, I, I freaked out trying to make this work. Uh, so yeah, there's some bug. I, I was trying to trace down the actual bug that's in Selenium and I keep seeing references to it, but it doesn't seem like it's the bug. So sorry, I don't have that linked in here. But what I'm gonna show you right now is the workaround. So the workaround right here is something called HTML DND. And, and it's an NPM package and HTML drag and drop simulator. You go here, it gives you all the instructions that you need to uh, use this and it also has all the instructions right here for Nightwatch and basically I'm going to be just replicating this and showing it to you on my site. So first steps first I clear this out and start from the beginning. I already have it installed but I'll just show you how to npm install html npm install html dnd and I'm saving this to my package.json there you go now you have that npm package and what you're going to want to do is import the drag and drop function from that package so it's drag and drop and require html dnd &D. and you have to use this code for selectors to make it work with Nightwatch. Okay, now that we have that going, we're going to uh, do the following. Browser.execute. The execute method injects code directly into the web page. 
since Selenium doesn't work for the for this, or the web drivers don't let us do the drag and drop, you have to actually execute against the web page itself to trigger all the drag and drop events. So what the script is doing is not actually using the mouse. It's triggering drag and drop events. So let's go here to drag and drop. That's the function that's passed into the web page. That's going to be injected as a script. And then here it gives us an array of arguments to pass to drag and drop. The, for, the first argument is going to be what we're dragging, and the second argument is going to be the destination where we're dragging it to. So let's go over to the web page. Here we go. And I'm going to open up the developer tools. And I'm going to figure out what the CSS selectors are for each element. So click on this little guy and check on the image I want to drop. So there we go. ID drag one. You can either just write that down directly. But what I like to do because I'm lazy is copy the selector. Since I hate trying to write out CSS selectors unless I absolutely have to. So go here. There we go. That's the first element. And then we got where we're dragging this to right here. Copy that selector. And that's it. That should do everything. Of course, you want to be a nice tester and in the browsing session. And let's execute this and see what happens. It's probably going to go by super quick. I'll sh we'll slow it down and then show another example that slowed down in a second. So MPX Nightwatch. And I'm using NPX because uh, I don't have a JSON script written in the package.json. So NPX just invokes what's in the uh, Nightwatch bin or node modules bin directory. So you can do npx, or you can do uh, node modules dot bin nightwatch. So either way will work. So npx nightwatch, and I'm going to use uh, the Chrome environment. So I think by default I have it set up for Firefox for some reason. So uh, that should just there's only one test in here, so it'll only execute that one test. Let's try it out. See what happens. Go there. Yep. And you did not see what happened at all. So let's slow that down for a second. And I'm going to put some pauses in here. So I think uh, just two seconds, two second pauses will be enough right here. So browser.pause, two seconds. All right. Let's see if we can <laughs> see what happens right there. Went to the page, drag and drop, boom, we're done. And that's it. That's how you use drag and drop for HTML5 and using Nightwatch. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe. If you didn't like this, you know, please let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, also visit uh, actionqa.com for more tutorials. Take care.